Hello, I'm Jeff Kinsbach, live from CSU, where the Cleveland Indians are getting ready for tomorrow's home opener. And we're going to be talking to them in a few minutes here on the Afternoon Exchange. The Easter season is upon us with lovely traditions all around. We'll take a look at one, the beauty of hand-painted Ukrainian eggs. And believe it or not, these horses have come to town to see the baseball game, <laughs> the Clydesdales. <laughs> They were just in Cincinnati doing yeah, the same thing. Now they're in Cleveland. They, they love baseball. Yeah, they do. I hope that we get beer, some baseball right? around Isn't here. Isn't that it? Yeah, that, that, and, beer. that and beer. They're, they're <laughs> on the beer and oats diet, That's which it. is guaranteed to keep you fit and strong. <laughs> That's and, right. and that was Jerry Dubzinski standing there, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. Yes. He's yes. good. But, uh, we have a couple of the Cleveland Indians. As a matter of fact, we have, uh, let's see, uh, Jack Percani, Von Hayes, Jerry Dubzinski, and Chris Bando. And uh, they all have snow shovels here, and uh, we're headed over to the stadium right after this. Now, Jeff, two of the four are from Cleveland, right? That's right, Jerry Dubzinski and uh, Chris Bando over here. That's kind of unusual, isn't it? It's good to be on the show, uh, Fred. How, nice to see you again, Jerry. Okay. Have a great season. Thank you very much. I think it is pretty unusual to have a couple of guys actually from Cleveland who uh, have made it into the pros uh, on Cleveland's uh, baseball team. That must uh, make you feel pretty good inside. I know it makes myself feel good, and I'm sure it makes Chris and his family feel real good. It's uh, not so much playing for your hometown in front of fans and that. It's mostly in front of your parents and family, and it really makes them feel proud of, uh, of what you've accomplished. And it just it's a great thrill to, to see their reactions and how they get up for each game as, as well as how I get up. Does it make you a little bit more nervous? So I know this is my hometown, and when I, when I first came back here, I thought, I want to do a good job because my friends are here, my family is here. It's a little more pressure on you, isn't it? Well, it, sometimes it is, but uh, I've taken the, the attitude that, um, you know, I'm going to try my best. If, if I do mess up, then hopefully my friends and family are still going to be in my corner. So you know, I, don't, I don't worry are. about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah they're not going to disown you, Jerry. I wonder, how, I wonder how Chris feels about it, playing in his own hometown. Let's talk to Chris. Hey, Chris, uh, they want to know how you uh, feel about playing in your own hometown. Oh, I'm really excited about it. It's like a dream come true. You know, I grew up around the stadium and going down to the ballpark, and uh, it's a big thrill for me playing in front of my family and friends and something I've always dreamt about. You know where all the watering holes are, right? <laughs> well, I know where all the good Italian food is, and that's in my, my, my own house, so uh, that's all that really matters to me, and uh, I'm just looking forward to it. Your brother, uh, Sal, has been in the majors for a while, hasn't he? Right. He's been in for 15 years, and I know he's proud of me being up here, and uh, now that he retired, I give him something to watch, and uh, I'm excited. I know he is, and uh, I just hope to be here for a long time. How do you think the team uh, looks to you this year? Team looks improved. Our pitching staff has vastly improved. Made some good acquisitions, and uh, I think if our bullpen comes up, comes through, Eddie Whitson, Dan Spilner, I think uh, we're going to be right in the thick of things. And what about yourself, as far as uh, you know, catching? I just want to contribute to the Indians as much as possible and get as much playing time as possible, and uh, work with Ron Hasse and our staff to get the most out of them and have a successful season. Well, good luck to you for sure. Thank you. We also have uh, Von Hayes and Jack Percani here. Uh, Vaughn, this is a this is an interesting season for you. Here you're uh, coming to play in Cleveland, and uh, what do you think your role will be as far as uh, I know you've in spring in spring training you played third base, uh, outfield. Uh, you're all over the place. What do you think you can contribute this year? Well, I think basically I'm going to be um, a left-handed pinch hitter on the team and come off the bench in, in late innings. And if they need me in the early innings, I can come off the bench and pinch hit for somebody and, and go and play that position, either left or or right or third or first. So uh, I did get a lot of work in this spring, and I'm looking forward to a good year, and we'll just have to see how it goes. Von, they say you can squeeze sawdust out of a bat. You're so strong. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this season, and I'd like to hit for a little bit more power. Um, I'm just going to you know, play my game, and hopefully I can get in there every day and have a good year. Well, I'm sure. We're really pulling for you this year. Thank you very much. We also have uh, Jack Bricani here. Let's uh, pass the headphone over to him real quick. Uh, Jack, uh, this is uh, kind of a new deal for you. You're actually uh, more or less coming into the uh, steps of Dwayne Kuyper. How does that strike you? Well, I, you know, understand that Dwayne was really popular here in Cleveland, and so, you know, I got a tough act to follow. But I'm just happy to be in the big leagues, and I'm real excited to be in Cleveland, and I'm looking forward to playing here. How long, I was just wondering, how long have you and have you and Jerry got the rhythm now? That old second base, uh, shortstop, uh, uh, double play combination? Well, we like to think so. You know, we had a good spring together, and we've gotten uh, adjusted to each other. And it's, um, you know, I think we're going to get better and better as time goes on, too. And you can fly through the air, too, can't you? 
Wayne Kuiper could, but I, we've seen pictures of you flying through the air. Well, you know, you do what you have to do to make the plays, I guess. Yeah. Jeff? Yeah. What do they all think about tomorrow? Will they win? I don't think there's any question about it. <laughs> no, there's not. We're, you know, we're going to give our 100% and hopefully we'll come out on top. Really? Now, you're actually uh, from Illinois, right? That's right. Joliet. So that's, that's right next door to us. Yeah, I'm used to this weather, you know. This is nothing <laughs> new to me, so. It does seem kind of weird, though, doesn't it, doing your, uh, uh, your practice just before a game in a, in a field house rather than outside? Yeah, it is really strange after, you know, being in Tucson for a month and a half, you know, and then to come back indoors is a little bit odd, but, you know, it's just a little something to keep us tuned up. Mr. Garcia said this morning, that he thought this was as fine a team as he's ever ever had around this town or seen around this town. So we hope everybody has a maximum season. Well, thank you. We're looking forward to it, too. I think, you know, we do have an outstanding ball club, and I think we're going to put it all together. Hey, these guys are all tan. It looks kind of weird down here. All these guys have tans and everything, and, uh, you know, we're all standing around, you know. You look tan from here, Jeff. Yeah, well, I was from um, Jamaica. <laughs> oh, I see. I was in Jamaica for a while. Just to drop a place. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, uh, I think, you know, just after uh, hanging out with these guys for a few minutes, these guys are about ready to uh, squeeze the uh, living daylights out of the Texas Rangers tomorrow. And uh, that's provided if we can go down to the stadium and uh, shovel off some of the snow. Is it appropriate to say good luck in baseball, or you don't say break a leg, right? <laughs> no, you don't. No. <laughs> no, never say that, especially never on this that. field. No. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to you, though. All right. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. And how, have you heard any estimates as to how many folks might be down at the stadium tomorrow? Uh, well, I've heard an estimate of uh, over 70,000, especially after today's sunshine and everything. Yeah. Oh, we got to have it. How about your family? Are they going to be there? Yeah, that'll encompass part of the 73,000, I'm sure. I've got about <laughs> 20 there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Chris has a few, too, to bring. Oh, yeah, Chris has his whole family, too. All right, well, listen, uh, thank you guys much. Best of luck. And uh, you too, Jack. All right. <laughs> Thank you all.